This is Keith from Wink Sound. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over a compression. There are two steps to compression. The first is compressing the audio, and the second is gain compensation, which is necessary because after you compress, the overall output will be lower, and you'll see that later. So when you bring up your compressor plugin, or if you're looking at a piece of outboard gear, it'll have some of the same parameters that you see right now. I have an input and output, a meter for gain reduction, a knee value, ratio, attack, release, gain and threshold, above which I can see my parameters for sidechain compressor if I want it. Now the threshold controls when the compressor will start compressing the audio. Right now the value is negative 24 dB, which means that everything underneath negative 24 dB will be unaffected by the compressor. But everything after which, after the threshold, it will start being compressed. The ratio controls how much it will be compressed after the threshold. Right now our ratio is 3 to 1. Now you can think of it as a fraction because that's basically what it is. This means that for every 3 decibels of an input after the threshold, it will be reduced down or compressed to 1 decibel. If we have a value of 9 decibels above the threshold, it will be compressed to 3 decibels above the threshold. The tack dictates how fast the compressor will kick in and start compressing, and the release dictates when the compressor will stop compressing, which returns the overall signal back to its original dynamic level. The knee value represents the slope, which you can see especially around the threshold, which is represented by this vertical orange line. That's the threshold. And you can see the knee value change when I increase it. And you see the slope, how it starts compressing a little bit before the threshold, and it makes just this gradual slope start compressing. It makes it more smooth. I use it a lot for vocals. Right now I'm using the Classic House Piano Demo by 5pin Media, available at loopmasters.com. And as I begin to play it, you can tell by the gain reduction meter that it's being compressed a lot. And it's because the ratio is so high. It's 100 to 1. Now if I lower my threshold, it'll compress it even more because there's so much audio that's being sent to the compressor that is past that threshold. Watch what happens as I, in, as I actually decrease the attack time. All of a sudden, it compresses the audio a lot more. So I'm going to set just medium values for my attack and release. If I increase my knee value, it's going to start compressing a little bit before that threshold. And it's going to make it just a smoother transition. So you can tell by just looking over here. Now, I still need to add some gain after I compress the audio. Because as you can tell, the output is less than the input. So right now, I'm just going to add, let's say, 3 dB, and let's see how that works out. I'll probably get away with one more. So sometimes you just got to eyeball that, or just use your ear and make sure that nothing's distorting. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.